Quick question for you right off the bat. Do you think it's ethical to get ChatGPT or one of the other large language models to write a poem for your loved one, your significant other, your wife, your husband uh, on their birthday? It's really easy. All you do is you go into ChatGPT and you're like, act as though you are a world-renowned poet and compose a funny limerick uh, for my wife's 43rd birthday. Uh, make it as funny and as raunchy as you're ethically allowed to. And it does it. It comes back with an amazing, here, here's, the, here's the poem it came back with. In a world of years numbering 43, it lives a lady who's quite the spree. She's sassy and bold with stories untold. Each wrinkle, a chapter you see. I just stay away from the wrinkles. Um, but in the end, it was like, happy birthday to your, to your wonderful wife whose laughter brings color to life. May this year be a blast with memories that last and moments that keep away strife. Um, but I, I can't send this to my wife as is. I, I, so I said to ChatGPT, and I thought this was great. I was like, I need you to write it as though it's coming from me. So instead of your wife, say my wife. And in seconds, it came back with the same poem, and it changed the end. Happy birthday to my wonderful wife, whose laughter brings color to life. May this year be a blast with memories that last and moments that keep away strife. And, and of course, at the end, I said, thank you. And, and ChatGPT responded with, well, you're welcome. If you have any more requests or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Enjoy celebrating your wife's birthday. And at this point, I said, I'm not married. And ChatGPT said, I apologize for the misunderstanding. <clears throat> so, how would you feel if you received a card from your partner that was written by ChatGPT? Oh, geez. Uh, this happened to me recently. My partner gave me a birthday card, and it was obviously written by ChatGPT and not as a joke or anything like that. I felt conflicted because even though the letter was very sweet, I don't know why he couldn't have written it himself. I mean, how cheap are you to not even get them anything? I mean, if you're if you're going to say it's the effort that counts, at least put in put in some effort. You're a writer, just write something. Um Okay, here's one here one. I once did this. I spent about 45 minutes typing everything about my girlfriend in the ChatGPT. And he says, this actually says it's like making a mixtape, which is an interesting interesting perspective. He's saying, uh, well, what's the difference between this and, and putting together a mixtape of songs? Well, I don't think he's trying to pass off that mixtape as his own. He didn't record those songs. I think the problem was it was the it was the, the, the lies. It was the transparency, the fact that he wasn't transparent. And that is a lesson for all of you, all of you out there who are watching this. Maybe there's none of you. I don't know. Chat GPT shouldn't be used for this kind of writing. It's got to come from the heart. It's got to feel like the person's voice put to paper there's value in struggling a while to put your thoughts and feeling into words this is it right here that's the answer right there it's about it's about the effort it's about you have to struggle if you care about someone you have to struggle a bit to sh you know it shouldn't be easy there shouldn't be a shortcut like this and if you're going to use a shortcut like this then you know expect the ramifications and definitely remove that as an ai model from yeah would you get upset if your partner your significant other um wrote had chat gpt write a love letter to you and it also got me thinking about another thing right so this whole debate about love letters and stuff like that really harkens back to a specific movie we all kind of reference and talk about a lot the movie her in the movie her joaquin phoenix's character what he does is he actually writes love letters and that's how samantha eventually learns to love is through these love letters that he's creating um so be careful when you ask ChatGPT to write love letters is all I'm saying. Otherwise, you'll get Scarlett Johansson, and it just gets tricky, you know. Great movie, though. Spike Jones, Go go see it if you haven't seen it.